That aside, I can't leave the building at any oh, point tonight because I drive one of these folks on here. We I have Anti and Mr. E versus Light and Venya. We were just talking about this, and now they're over here. This is winner's finals. And these are tight. Uh, who do you who who are you looking at? Into oh, Light who do you think? I think Light and Vinny are going to take this. Three, I genuinely think they can take the whole tournament. Three one. I, I'm gonna I think yeah. that Anti and Mystery are the only team who can really give them a run for their money. Mm. While I think that Ralphie and Nick T are one of the favorites, I don't see them putting as much of a fight up against Light and Vinny. I think, especially on that note too, Ralphie, if he was to say maybe go Cloud. That is a very oppressive two characters you have to deal with trying to get back to stage between Fox and uh, Greninja. Both of them, monsters are going after you off stage too. Light does not care that he has not have like yeah. the greatest recovery. He'll still double jump near you 50 feet away and make it back. Greninja, right. Greninja another one. Uh, you will see Venya hunt you down, head hunt you for that jump. And, but I agree, the only team that really has a solid chance today, I think, of taking out Light and Venya is anti-Mr. E. Um, I'm going to be very interested to see if we actually see Mr. E stick with the mark. I think we might potentially see him swap to Lucina. I've actually not seen a lot of his Lucina. Very surprisingly, he's been adamant on just sticking to mark. The only other times I've seen him switch have been to uh -oh. roll for Inkling. Pro controller. And disconnect, please. Who is that? Oh, it's Kyoka, I think. Kyoka. You know, uh -oh. I, I really do hope, like, all jokes aside, that oh, Nintendo puts an actual update out to just desync it easier. Like, they're, they're, we're seeing a huge increase of people playing with the Pro Controller because of the comfort level of it, the buttons feel great, and it's really becoming a popular option come Ultimate for a I lot think, of people. I think Benny is a Pro Controller user, too. He, he is. is. He, uh, to Kill Sage it. is another Pro, Pro Controller user. Oh, Sage, yeah. Yes, he's here too. Uh, Pelka, the snake from uh, NE. Uh, Lost his Wiimotes. He was a Wiimote nunchuck player, uh -oh. and now he's playing our Pro Controller. Yeah. Um, Ling Ling. Like, there's just so many people playing with that controller, Ling. and it's a smart idea because it's just you have more options available to you, and it's way less stress on your hands. Yeah, it is a very comfortable controller. Yes. Yeah. But also, you can get yourself DQ from Bracket because you forgot to desync. So I Yoka, really do hope they put that in there. Uh, slide it under the radar right there. We'll let that one slide. Yeah, we're just, just giving you guys also the PSA as well. If you're at a major event or you're, you're at a, a big regional or national. Desync your pro controllers. Please desync your pro controllers. It is huge that you do not have that happen in the middle of a set or something that holds up people's time because the TOs sometimes are forgiving, other times will not be. Oh, we're definitely in singles now, aren't we? Yes. Oh, yeah. I actually have to keep my ear out because yeah, I am same. playing my pool, my singles for today. I've got it on my phone right here. Oh, uh, you, when is my pool? Look at Artie with the Smash GG. Look slash at us talking about ourselves on the Smash GG. Here. Wonderful website. It works uh, so much of the time. Uh, <laughs> it works 100% of the time, all the time. I don't know what you're talking yeah. about. Excuse me, it's I'm been getting trying. better. It, it, it has. I'll give them that. Memes I, aside, it's been working more consistently. I have definitely had um, some times where I just didn't want to look, though, because I got tired of trying to find the actual bracket. I just realized you have a really nice custom Yoshi up front here. Yes, we do. That is amazing. It is made by Okami. Oh, yeah, Okami. Uh, the uh, like, Really, the amiibo extraordinaire when it comes to altering amiibos. If you guys have not seen her work on Twitter, go give her a follow. Uh, bracket 7. When is that? 7 is like wave B. That's like around 536 o'clock. Hey, let's go. We got time. All right, so we're going to see exactly what we thought about before. We saw Mr. Uh, Mr. E and Anti stepping up to the plate with... The Marth and Lucario, like we saw before, and of course the Light Fox and Venya Greninja. Venya basically just Greninja at this point. Oh well, yeah, I, I've seen him play a couple of other characters in the past, but as far as Ultimate is concerned, he's almost exclusively played as Greninja, and I really don't see any reason for him to not do so. Like, he's made Greninja look like a solo viable character. Mm -hmm. He's going to be responsible for the memes returning of Greninja getting nerfed from oh, yeah. every single patch for the first like five patches. Returned in 3DS days. So Good edge guarding attempt from Mr. E. Doesn't close out the deal though. Mr. And Venya smart, just opting to go center stage, get away from that situation. I was, uh, I want to, uh, I want to talk about this team comp. This team comp is fast, and they can kill you efficiently without taking a lot of damage. However, a strong breeze will kill these two characters. So yeah. if if Lucario gets his aura going, these characters are going to be deleted off the screen. Oh, good. 
good double parry coming in from Light there. I think he was only going for one, but gets clipped by the fair in the strong breeze like you talked about before. Fourth match taking out that first stock. Now, our, where Green Team's composition is very glass oh. it's hyper oh, aggro. He did, that dead. was his jump, too. That is an early kill for Mr. E. That is definitely something they wanted. And now Venya's not going down, too. We're sitting there talking uh -oh. all about the Green Team, but this is all Blue Team show so far. Blue Team's team comp is hyper versatile. The way that they can control space, the way they can control the stage incredibly well. They have a lot of options for supporting each other as well as going for the kills individually. I feel like it's a perfect fit for being able to fight such a hyper aggressive yeah. team like we're green. It lights out. <laughs> and, uh, we, I want to talk about you live you know, fast, die fast. It takes it takes a while for Lucario to get online, you know, to get those kind of rage kills. In this case, he's picking up that slack. He's picking up, making sure that he gets there on time, he's getting those fair strings. Well, he also gave them a charity stock a second ago, and uh, you know now, it, you know it's it's not something you can normally say. Oh yeah, this is still kind of doable. Between Light and Vinya, like we said before, very explosive. They can run this back. They need to just avoid these disadvantaged situations. Getting oh, caught by the Aura Sphere, though, but able to get himself back. Gets caught on the air dodge as well. Anti has been so good at covering all these defensive options. I have to point out to Sage right now, this is not losers round five. Oh, it's the other stream. Sage is in charge of the other oh, stream. Oh, my bad. It's not losers round five, by the way. Um... Back to the match. Yeah, this but, is definitely uh, this winners is, finals going oh, yeah, on right this here. Is, this, is definitely, this is seed one and two. Fun fact, uh, Light and Venia were paired this morning. Yeah. <laughs> they, they decided the team today. No, they decided yesterday. They didn't tell me until this morning. Yeah, they, did, oh, not, they yeah. did not tell me until Venia uh, walked You've been yeah, aware no, that no, Paris no, is terrible at no, really no, messages. I have been aware of this team for a while. You know what? Just ask me things from now on. But back into this, uh, you know, this is... Uh -oh. oh, huge percent deficit, but an, an SD again. Like, this has been the telltale sign of the comeback of green team so far. It has been these SDs coming in from the blue team, even in this backup. Both green teams still at kill percent, though. So this is, again, yet another light breeze that could just take take away the stocks. Falling up here, not going to take it yet. Light doing a good job of keeping anti a disadvantage. Gets the shine, trying to go for potentially a footstool to get him on his way out. He's been going for more shine footstools. You know, one thing about anti that I just want to bring up really quickly, what's made him so such a powerful teammate, Sinister E. Pay attention whenever any member of Green Team is trying to make a landing. Mm -hmm. He's always in position to punish that landing or to funnel their movement towards Mr. E. Good defense from Light there, by the way. Like, not giving up the roll or just waiting long enough to not get hit by Mr. E. Forced yet again into another ledge guard situation. Cross up Bear is just going to put him in good position. Not going to hit the counter. Living at 172% after being in such a huge deficit from before. That is... Okay, I was going to say, if he lived that, Light actually getting good DI for a change. But uh, he... Ha not going to be able to make that comeback. Blue team giving him a lot of charity with, I think it was three now, SDs in total. Yeah, I want to talk about that. This, that was a lot of spaghetti. Yeah. In that game. Light losing his stocks within the first, two stocks within the first, like, what, minute and a half? I'm not, I won't call that second one spaghetti for the most part because Mr. E was just, he hunted him down and he oh, yeah. recognized no matter what, you can't make it back from here. There is no air dodge that can save you now. And if you blow your jump, you're mine. And he was able to seal it at 28%. That was huge. But those three SDs from the blue team, almost letting the green team run in that back. I think we're going to be seeing much more mental awareness coming in from the recoveries this time. So we're going to run it back to PS2. I've seen, I've seen Light favor this stage a lot. It just that. seems like a really good stage for, I would say, both members of the green team just because they're so fast. And a lot of their combos are oriented either air to ground, ground to air. But they're able to switch it up. And this is a stage that's very well oriented for those styles of characters. Yeah, being able to zone break is uh, a problem some characters may have against zoners in singles. But in dubs, the fact that these two can just force 2v1 situations, but it's not going to matter because Anti yet again sealing out Light's stock first. Light has been the one inconsistently keeping his stocks alive, and that's, not, no, that's usually not the case. I think it's just Anti has like such a good sense of awareness of how to play around Light. Mm -hmm. We talk about Fox, he's such a glass cannon, but Venia taking him off the top, 
Mr. E down a stock. Yeah, Venya with a good mental awareness to recognize, oh, wait, we both got hit, but I'm still in advantage here. Uh, outside of maybe a Dolphin Slash, there's not much Mr. E could have done there to make that stop. No, I, re I really don't agree with what the green team is doing. We've seen Mr. E destroy Light Stocks. I really don't want to see Light ha having to go against Mr. E in this case. I think Light should be on to the Lucario, kind of rushing him down, pressuring I his shield. I think that he was attempting to, and Fox still definitely does pretty solid against Lucario. Uh, but Mr. E is gonna good job of keeping it like separated, and you yeah, saw it there as well. Venya was trying to get his way back in to help protect him, and Anti took full advantage of it. Now, typically, there's you know, always this mindset when you're in doubles that you want to focus a particular target, mm -hmm. and E and Anti are always super aware of that. Oh, yeah. You won't notice that like anytime the the opposing team tries to focus someone, they're constantly either covering each other or forcing the reverse to fight. Mm -hmm. So even though yes, you bring up a really good point that. Fox shouldn't be fighting Marth all the time because of how well he is dealing with uh, Light. Ooh. Like, Blue seems aware of this. They're constantly switching things up so that he's forced to have this battle. So we're Light. seeing a Angel platform up smash. Taking the stock. Light's up smash hits 100% of the time. Don't count the ones that you think missed. They just set up for another one. <laughs> like, just running down there, sealing it out. We're seeing a much better... Uh, closing out of stocks coming in from the green team and a little bit better team composition as well as you're seeing there to trade to get that back air. You know, before it was all Mr. E and Anti keeping them at disadvantage at the ledge. Not seeing that nearly as much so far in this game too. Venia trying to hang on to that stock. Gonna make it back. Light remain. Uh oh. Very smart Ooh. on Anti as well to hold off knowing that he was trying to double shine there but actually Light ends up walking away with it. Oh, Yo! Oh, that was so smart. <laughs> yeah, you know, I heard you don't like Dolphin Slash. Look at look at Light. I hate Dolphin Slash. Look at Light. <laughs> well, honestly, I might hate Substitute even more. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, hey, you know, Ben, you're trying to make your life a little bit better, but apparently, like, you dislike Substitute even more now. <laughs> Man. There's so many things in Greninja's kit that's whack. Mm -hmm. If Venia wasn't <laughs> Venia, I would despise watching this character. But man, I love seeing what he could do with this thing. Yeah, it's really just Clog exciting to watch. Like, Clog yeah. the frog. Venia, He's one of the unsung heroes of uh, Tri-State, doesn't really travel a lot. And when you talk about Greninja, Venia's you know, just it's uh, everyone's like Stroder, Stroder, Stroder. Venia is insane. You know, sadly, it's just like uh, Venia falls into that category of those who have adulting problems like adulting yeah. is what we have to do we have to be responsible we have work we have things to do but you would love to see venya travel oh, nationally yeah. and just just show people what he is capable of he just it's just unfortunately he can't so i'm hoping that at some point he can and we get also more nationals up here in the tri-state area yeah, that we definitely, allow us we've to definitely show been off pretty busy up here we've been pretty noisy yeah, we've been, been pumping them out honestly yes. yeah so we've got the Let's Make Moves, we got Collision, we got the NYL pop-up event, we got this. I said that, you know, everybody keep an eye on these top players that you want to see. Hopefully we'll be getting a lot more of these consistently. Kind of like what's going on here at Orion, going into game three here. Running it back to PS2, I agree 100%. You know, this hasn't been out of reach for any team, and it works very well for everybody on screen so far. There's just been super convincing games from both sides, mm -hmm. so it's, this is what you come to expect in a winner's finals. And... Oh, I actually thought Anti took out one of the green team, but he ended up taking out Mr. E instead. That was a situation where if he hit both of them, that could have worked, but it did not. So back to the uh, PS2, a very, very neutral stage in this case. I don't think it do it's doing any favors for anyone, uh, but it's just the new Smash Bros. I think it's just very versatile in the way that it, the, the way it's been. Uh oh. Oh, gets the trade on the, uh, the upbeat from Anti there. And, and goes in dig deep. But this man, that new Firefox has so much knockback, and I don't think Anti was actually prepared for that. So Light able to get himself a gift and take out that yeah. stock on the reverse the, set guard. The story of this set is just Light losing his stocks to edge guards. Mm -hmm. Well, we're seeing Venya doing a much better job of dying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, it was... <laughs> I, see, you had to do it. I, man, I try to give people a compliment for stock taking, and then it's like they have to prove me wrong immediately yeah. after. They're like, yo, <laughs> he's like, he's at the, he's at the stream time. He's like, I feel a disturbance in the force. <laughs> Listen, that's what happens when we have like four impressive doubles players, like Impress impressive is other. an understatement. That's, oh, Mr. Oh, e actually saving saved Venya there. I think these, I think these four are amazing. Yeah, this is, you know, we've been, we've been hearing a lot of people talk about the fact. 
doubles is extremely unrefined right now. It, it, a lot of people are still trying to find their footing oh, yeah. and see how they like the new comps. We're seeing optimal doubles play so far from these two, and this is only a month in. This is exactly what we want to see about the growth of doubles. And then Edgar said, That's no tech from light. He actually he knocked them upwards too. Yeah, so yeah I saw that was weird. But all the stocks are flying Everybody's right now. Dying. Outside of Mr. E, who's currently just running away from Venya trying yeah. to hold on to his <laughs> yeah. life. He was in the air. He's like, I can't touch me. Mm -hmm. Ooh, a footstool. This is getting a little, this is getting a little scary. No, no uh, extra stocks coming out for the green team. But Blue has one to work with. And E at relatively low percent in this game. You know, not really... Yeah, in terms of comeback factor as well, you, you know, Blue team is in advantage because of the fact that you have Lucario with that comeback factor in the Rage and the Aura. So if it takes too long for Ooh. them to seal out Mr. E's stock, that could end up putting them in a bad position because now they'll have to deal with Anti and E while they're both at uh -oh. high percent. Light getting sandwiched in hard. between the blue team. Oh, no hard punish coming in from there, but Mr. E is actually going to be the one to clip Anti. Luckily, nothing too bad out of that. Oh, still staying alive. Excellent DI, saves his resources, gets back to stage. He doing a great job of, if anything, taking a lot of the focus away. Green team. Uh oh. Jess barely miss, uh, missing that timing there. Oh, oh, oh no! What the hell? Wow. What in the world was that? Anti. <laughs> definitely had a good idea going. <laughs> but that execution. <laughs> Yo, he said, suspect. move. <laughs> Yo, Anti was moving. All right, so now. <laughs> Now Benya is in a, <laughs> now Benya in a situation where he has had a problem with this entire match. Mr. E consistently forcing him at the ledge and not been able to get out of there. Wait, does he disappear in a spot dodge? That's awesome. Yeah, he does uh, the old ninja poof. That's awesome. <laughs> Little ninja poof. I need to find that in the <laughs> TMs uh, next time I play Pokemon. Oh. The Ooh. dare on landing as well. Actually, a good option there. <laughs> Anti, like, my bad, bro. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that fist bump is fist, like, yeah. yeah, the fist bump was not for you. That was the smart dare <laughs> yeah, on, yeah, yeah. Uh, on landing. Like, yo. Did you like, did you like my option? <laughs> yo, j just so you know, I'm coming through. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I don't think we'll be seeing that type of option next time. Or either, if it comes through again, we'll probably see Mr. E prepared and jump out of it this time. <laughs> Uh, going into game maybe, three, maybe, maybe game throw four here, excuse me. <laughs> throw out a counter and be like, what you doing? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> up B counter to hit both of them and kill them both would actually have been hilarious. What do, you, do you think that we continue to see the PS2? Or do you think that we see Light and Venya try to go to something smaller uh, to continue well, I'm, extensive I'm pressure? I'm hearing a Star Fox uh, music. Is Light Light legal here? I don't. I think so. I think, it's, uh, I think it's Battlefield. Could uh, be a Battlefield. I haven't seen the full stage list here yet, so I, I'm not completely Wario aware. is legal here. Bless up. It is? Yes. Oh, boy. Yeah. I'm killing people at 10 today. <laughs> right, so going into game four here, yeah. it is actually oh, a Star FD. Fox stage, but it's an Omega version. We're so, going to go on FD. Okay. Uh, FD, kind of the home of all the fast characters, you know. Mm. Uh, so similar concept to like the idea of getting to a smaller stage. Now there's no platforms that they have to worry about being juggled on. And... Forcing a little bit better on 2v1 situations. There's nowhere where uh, one or the other can actually just jump in from a platform to cover. I think the main focus of attack, though, it was originally on anti. I think they really need to focus Mr. E, who's just been doing so good at keeping them at disadvantage off stage. See, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring up an interesting point here where I think it's actually fine that they focus out anti. The reason I say this is because you don't want to let Lucario run away and then, like, have a ton of aura to sit on. You don't yeah. want to let Anti have that extra power. Oh, an attack from Light. And Light oh. tried, I think Light was actually attempting to go for either a Nair or a Shine to get that and gave Anti the edge guard he was looking for originally. Again. And again. again! I am tempted to say that that may have been a misinput. I, I think so as well. You know, it was one thing in the last yo. one, but this time, it, that's <laughs> actually... Anti said, yo, this worked last game. But you know what? It's all good because the blue team was able to seal out those first two stocks of the green team finally. And even though Anti being down at this position, again, we've continuously talked about this, but it is not like hey, Lucario is even remotely well, we uncomfortable were, being in this spot. We were talking, uh, Frankie was talking about dogpiling just Lucario. But now E's got to realize that that second stock is probably Lucario's charity stock right there. He's going to have to hold on to it, especially if he wants to maintain the 2v2. In a bad, Benny in a bad position right now. Gonna smooth moves his way around Mr. E. But and even after all those smooth moves, he was not able to get past Anti's coverage on the stage. As you were talking about before, Anti's strength so far in this double set 
is that wherever Mr. E falters on like the defense, he's ready to catch that other option. He's already in position to, uh, to punish it, and it's been working so well. He sees where these guys are landing before they're even in the air. Like, Anti is such a good idea of where he needs to be, and it puts blue team so far ahead. Ooh. And finally, Mr. E is not going to be the one holding onto a stock no at the very end there. to give. It, you know, that, that SD Lumen huge now because now that's the stock loss, and this is a 3-1 to one situation Looking where Mr. Like e needs to make this comeback. These really messy bouts at the beginning of the match are starting to backfire on Blue Team. These are such scrappy players. You know, they just go right at it. There's no, you know, camping out. There's no camp this out. They're Speaking all of scrappy players as well, we're seeing already a couple of miscommunications in terms of what they want to go for between the green team here. Oh! Yeah, just gets to shine. Actually, I'm, I think he was trying to jump a little bit too early. But yeah, you saw that, Frankie. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> they both go for the pose at the end. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, when these guys are feeling, I, Light and Vinny are actually too. Oh, Light rolled players. up the sleeves. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that happens. No, he has one sleeve. He's only gone. It's like Super Saiyan one <laughs> at the moment. Oh, He's but, still never it's explained that. Times ten. Yeah, it's Kaioken times ten. <laughs> But um, what I was saying at the end is that I think that you're seeing the fact that because they haven't seen before, there's mis miscommunication on who wants to go in. Because both of them want to go in. They're both very explosive players. And I think if we see them clean that part up, it could be potentially just a steamroll over the blue yeah. team. So the pick is Yoshi's story in this case. So a little bit more room in Battlefield. Uh, the lip, I don't know how that's going to... Oh. Yeah, OK, it is Yoshi's story. I wonder what um, Light and Venue's opinion on this as well, because I know that Light is actually not a huge fan of Battlefield for Fox this time around. Really? Yeah, and be by comparison to the last game, I was wondering, what? Why? But it just doesn't seem to be in his same advantage, especially with the inconsistency of Fox's kill potential compared to before. Even though he can't kill, he doesn't have the same type of true setups that he did before. So oh, this one, however, a little bit smaller. That's such a weird. The thing about the stage is that three start at the bottom and one starts at the top platform. Yeah, it's um strange, but it's doable. I mean, it's workable. Like, all the characters that are on stage operate fast enough and control space effectively enough that I feel like starting positions is sort of a moot factor. Mm -hmm. That's like the Kalos thing too, where the left, the leftmost gets uh, put into the corner. So uh, I guess port priority is going to be a thing. But uh, Mystery off stage right now, but the green team not really opting to edge guard. Uh, Mystery just getting back on stage. Uh, Mystery was attempting to get back on stage. Yeah. I, think, <laughs> I, th I think that was anti again. Yeah, potentially, like I, I think uh -oh. that that there was actually anti. meant to yeah. be a back air from Light before, and he got the trade. But Light able to seal it out himself too, showing that he can do the big boy stocks as well. This is completely changed from the pace that we saw before. That forward smash though, you're gonna take the first stock off of Light. Anti almost having a call out on Penny's movement as well, ending up that stock. But Penny is chilling here at 100%. Green team doing a phenomenal job of controlling the base platform. And all of a sudden, this has become a very different game from what we saw in the previous four. I think the bigger stage uh, is kind of helping there. We're not getting as much scraps as we was uh, as we were on uh, Pokemon Stadium or uh, FD. This game is a little bit more metered out. You can see Venia and Fox kind of running around a bit more, you know, just kind of taking their time in this case. Yep, and you know what? I actually, I think I understand now why, my goodness, actually living through that and Venia getting the punish. Uh, but I think I see now why Anti wanted to go here because his positioning at center stage, every time they've tried to approach at Anti, has been perfect for him to get the punishes like we were talking about before and gets the neutral B into the up air, sending him to the side instead of to the top. With such a big stage, too, it's really risky for E to go out for those edge guards, too. Because this stage is fairly odd as far as the uh, the camera bounds and glass zones go for stages, because the stage itself is actually really large. Yeah. But then its glass zones are very tight to the end. Yeah. But we got to talk about Blue Team on their winner's life stocks right now. I mean, they're, they're putting up a good fight. Oh, and that's exactly what you needed. Light. Stock flying at 76%. That is a huge, huge victory for them in their favor because you do not want Light living that long and all of a sudden this is actually very doable to take this match. Oh, 
this is so nerve wracking right now. Anti's hurting a bit in percent right now, but light and oh, that's where he's the most living. Yeah. Though. Yeah, and you can, Ooh. you can see that Bendis doing his best to try to seal the stock while Mr. E's keeping him away. Because Light is the one who's consistently been sealing the stock on Anti. He does not want him anywhere near him right now. You can't you can't afford to have Mr. E on the Fox right or uh, Light right now. Gets and, the up smash on Anti. And Greninja, uh, uh -oh. Benya finally sneaking his way in. And again, look, you can see the two of them are actually kind of wondering, like, okay, which one of those goes in? Who's, yeah, who's yeah. going to be the one to take the lead? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who, who? And this, is gonna, and this could potentially work out for Mr. E with the way that he does so well of backing off people from being too aggressive. He's I, such a good uh, uh, player in the 2v1, though, <laughs> that, like, I can't even count E out of this till his ankles. We, we, we can. <laughs> yeah, now, now we can. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what Venio was trying to go Yo, for there. Venio I think he just like, assumed that he was going to die, and he didn't. So that would have been super unfortunate if, like, you know, no, you taunted on that. If Mr. E <laughs> made that comeback, that would have been hilarious. Yeah. Well, we're going to be seeing Light and Venya go to Grand Finals. Like, we were kind of all pre preemptively predicting that they were going to be at that position. However, they had much to work closer. Yeah, they had to work really oh, yeah. hard for that. And that new reset cushion that they're, they're going to have going into the next set, potentially, if Andrew.